Now, this man has made some outrageous predictions over the years. The crazy part is, he's usually right. You see, he predicted the collapse of GM, Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, and America's biggest mall owner, General Growth Properties. In fact, Barron's called his work a dire prophecy. Recently, he created a video, which you can watch online for free, detailing his biggest and most important prediction yet. And it's a real eye-opener. I can't stress this enough. You should at least watch this free video online today. He explains everything you need to know, including simple steps you can take to protect yourself. You can find the video at www.endofamerica3.com. That's endofamerica, the number three, dot com. Watch the free video at www.endofamerica3.com. That's endofamerica3.com. Hi, this is Alex Jones. You've heard me talk about the delicious, easy-to-fix, and very storable foods from eFoodsDirect.com. I've told you for years that eFoodsDirect has the best storable food on the planet. Now it's that time of year again, and their holiday special is here. They have two holiday price packs for you to put into your reserves for a secure future or to share with others. The first is a six-month bulk supply in 10 cans, and the second is a five-week supply of quick and easy-to-fix meals including delicious bakery items shipped in heavy tote bags. Now, for a limited time, when you order two or more of these special holiday packs, you'll get free shipping on your entire order. Call now, 800-409-5633, or visit them at eFoodsDirect.com forward slash Alex. That's 800-409-5633, or eFoodsDirect.com forward slash Alex. This is Alex Jones with five good reasons you should consider buying a solar power generator. Number one, new climate legislation could easily double or triple your electric bill. Number two, our new energy czar wants to control how much power your electric company allows you to have. It's true. Total government control of electricity in the name of smart grid technology is coming. Number three, in some areas of the country, the power grid is dangerously overloaded. And now new socialist legislation is only compounding the problem. Number four, dangerous weather is always a threat to local grids. Every year, thousands of families lose their power from weather-related outages. Number five, a solar power generator provides powerful backup insurance and peace of mind. Folks, I really believe in the solar power generators offered by Solutions from Science, one of my oldest sponsors. You can get more information at www.mysolarbackup.com. That's mysolarbackup.com. Remember, the government doesn't own the sun, so go to mysolarbackup.com or call 1-877-327-0365. Big Brother, mainstream media, government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. Live from Austin, Texas, broadcasting worldwide, it's Alex Jones. So it really is the Overton window, and government admits they're using that. Where people 50 years ago would have thought it was insane and wouldn't have put up with it to have cities all over the country first banning BB guns. Now they're banning, I have several articles here in in major cities, Nerf guns. See, first on on key reservations where they have children, where the children uh, haven't had their parents teach them their morals, and where they've been raised by the television, they can then mirror that propaganda in the school, and they can get away with things that adults would think of as extreme and crazy, like arresting small children for their G.I. Joe toy in their lunchbox because they have a three-centimeter pistol in their hand, or arresting someone because they have a plastic butter knife to put butter on their bread. This is happening every week or so. I see it in the news. That is also creating a cadre under the peer pressure of government control and the union. Teachers who will do anything and and think that tyranny is normal. And I use this example a lot, but if you went back, and I've studied Mesoamerica thousands and thousands of years ago, four or five thousand years ago, there was very little human sacrifice going on in Peru and what's Guatemala today and what's Mexico today. But as more and more radical warlike tribes got in control, by the time Cortez showed up 500 and something years ago, it was just insane asylum, 
hundreds of sacrifices a day per city. On some holidays, 10 plus thousand. Uh, giant meat markets of human flesh. That's how the priest class funded themselves. The main meat was human meat. And so you'd go into the market and they were selling all the different cutlets of men, women, and children. And if you went up and could speak a Mayan to one of those uh, tribes, uh, to the Aztecs who spoke Mayan, that was Mayan uh, subroot culture, and you said, this is wrong, uh, they'd think you were nuts. They'd laugh at you. So see, they've moved the window so far that it's radical that I don't want to ban Nerf toys. See, they've already got the young generation ready for that, and soon they'll be the adults. And kids are raised by television where every show is you know, set in New York or Chicago where guns are banned and where they see simulated cop shows where they're arresting people for owning guns. And so when the TV head comes in your house to clean your carpet or put in a telephone line and they didn't come from a rural area and they see a gun case, they call the cops on you. And the cops respond. And the juries are so dumb, people go to prison all the time for legal guns in their house. I see that every week or so as well. That's an example of just mass mental illness. Hitler was able by degree to demonize certain groups and people until the Germans were ready to do whatever they were told. Same thing with the Soviets. When you're purely driven by peer pressure and you've got tyrannical scientific dictatorship, the sky's the limit. I'm going to your calls. I just wanted to get into this because on every front, they are transforming us into the opposite of what is archetypal freedom. They are transferring us into archetypal tyranny. A lot of writers, even in mainstream news, keep saying it's as if the government is trying to recreate 1984. It's as if it's a training manual. Hillary Clinton says it's her favorite book. And notice what she tries to create. See, for the tyrants, the answer to 1776 is 1984. From their perspective, that's what they want. And Jaron made the joke during the break that it's like, party like it's 1984. And we, somebody should create a parody showing TSA searching people and chemtrails and cameras and blood draws. and But then government can engage in all the corruption they want. And so when you see Supreme Court justices saying we're going to follow U.N. law and the Constitution doesn't matter in USA Today, Ruth Bader Ginsburg and others, I've seen four of the of the nine make comments like that. When you see judges on a routine basis saying, I don't have the Constitution in my courtroom, just search that. You'll see it over and over again. That's a talking point. Colorado, Texas, you name it. I don't allow the Constitution in my courtroom. When you see all these different congressmen in 2010 say, I don't care about the Constitution. I don't care. We've played those videos. In time constraints, I'm not going to play them now because I want to get to some of your calls. So when Ezra Klein, Washington Post staffer, and he's also a staffer at MSNBC, goes on a show and says, Constitution doesn't matter. See, people kept thinking the Democrats and Republicans, well, the Democrats last year tried over and over again to pass spending bills that originated in the Senate. Totally illegal, totally against the Constitution, but they, they've tried to do it. And in some cases, they've gotten bills through that were spending bills out of the Senate. See, they're setting the precedent. When goon cops who are in a brainwashed system themselves in the Overton window, who've been conditioned and trained to accept all of this, when they come up, or even security guards, it's happened to my crew and myself, Kansas City Star covered it. The video's on YouTube. Aaron and uh, Rob Jacobson are a half mile away from the Federal Reserve. They're across the street. On the side of a highway videotaping, they're done. They drive down to a World War I memorial. They're uh, on the side of a city street on a sidewalk, off their jurisdiction, in black uniforms, two federal security guards with sidearms walked up and said, I'm ordering you to leave. And they said, well, you're, this isn't your jurisdiction. We, even if you were a cop, you, you're outside your authority. And they, they, they put their hand on their guns and they said, look, I'm going to arrest you. And maybe they should have gotten arrested, but I've told them, unless they personally want to do it, don't. I probably would, but I, I've told them, you know, my order is to just get it on tape, illustrate it, and get out of there. 
And when they said, okay, we'll go, the man and woman security guards literally looked like Satan. You could see them. It looked like Emperor Palpatine when he does something evil. He'll, he'll crimp his lips with pleasure and go, mmm. It's just, mmm. And I saw the cops do that in Austin when my guys were on a city road on the back of the airport videotaping uh, people going through with just a swipe card to illustrate how it's all a fraud with security. Same thing they rated the pilot for showing and showing how it's a fraud. First nice cop gets there, but still puts them in a database. And I know you got a right, I, but give me your ID. Let me just run you. He, he's the nice, he's the nice Gestapo. And then others show up and say, I don't care if you've got a right. Get out of here. I'm going to arrest you. And when they said, okay, we'll go, you see the cops just, mm, good, good. That cop doesn't know that they're literally knocking the floor out from under themselves and their family. They have no idea. They think they're winning. They think they've got some type of personal power through the system. Let's play this clip. Ezra Klein, Constitution has no binding power on anything. And, again, they say this over and over again. And they know it's radical to say if you don't want government-run health care, you don't like black people. It has nothing to do with anything. It's bizarre. It's crazy. It's nonsensical. But they're practicing doing that just to make it la-la land. This is all in handbooks by these people. Now, here's the good news. We're taking the Overton window back to reality. We're saying, yeah, you blew up those towers. We're bold. We don't care if you demonize us. Yeah, we're going to cover the government nerve gas on our own troops and shooting little kids up with syphilis. And now you're a bunch of murderers. And they're like, no, no, don't do that. Yeah, we're going to do that. And they're like, well, we might get you. We'll, we'll just death threat your wife and surveil you and call you up and let you know we're watching you and tell you stuff that proves we're the government. And we'll have guys assault you in a parking lot. And we'll have military threaten you. And you know what? When you finally just say, I don't care, do whatever you're going to do, they don't know how to deal with that. And they don't know how to deal with somebody that knows the card tricks. I'm catching them cheating with the cards in their sleeve. I'm calling them on it. So America and the world needs to get out of this sycophantic worship of tyranny and that going along to get along is cute and fun. People need to rediscover the spirit of 1776. The answer to 1984 is 1776. But Kurt Nemo's got the article, Establishment Blogger, Constitution has no... Yeah, Kurt needs to change that headline immediately. Uh, I know Kurt writes a lot of stories every day, and he's, he's a Washington Post writer and an analyst for MSNBC. We need to change that headline to MSNBC analyst constitution has no binding power. We don't have editors here because it, we're working so fast and so hard. Um, and there's a hole that the Watsons have, Aaron has, Kurt has. I have it, too that they think a spell checker is an editor, and it's not. And the mistake that happens every day in almost every article is words, other words, because they think the spell checker is going to catch it. But if they have another word that's spelled correctly, it's not. But that's got to be the granddaddy of them right there. And if it's embarrassing to talk about it, hell, it's embarrassing everybody seeing it. So I just got to say, uh, we need to get that changed. I know I'm evil. I'm bad. Uh, but uh, it has no bidding power on anything. <laughs> I want the headline, like I said this morning when I sent it over, to uh, be uh, MSNBC analyst. Constitution has no binding power on anything. Maybe Kurt thinks it says bidding. I don't know. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and play the video clip. Here is uh, Ezra Klein. Constitution has no binding power on anything. Let's go ahead and roll it. The Constitution. That's what Republicans want to do in the new Congress. In the last year, the 223-year-old document has been getting a whole lot of lip service. So when the 112th Congress is sworn in next week, expect to hear a lot more about it because the Constitution is at the center of three coming congressional battles. And we love wonkery mixed up with politics, so we're bringing our favorite wonk into the discussion to tee up some of the fights ahead. MSNBC contributor Ezra Wonk Klein is a staff writer for the Washington Post and joins us now. Ezra, good to see you. Thanks Good morning, so much. Nora. Uh, you heard all the different uh, politicians talking about the Constitution. Well, this is what's going to happen. Um, when Republicans take over next week, they're going to do something that apparently has never been done in the 221 year history of the House of Representatives. They are going to read the Constitution aloud. Is this a gimmick? Yes, it's a gimmick. I mean, 
You could say two things about it. One is that it has no binding power on anything. And the two, the issue of the Constitution is not that people don't read the text and think they're following. The issue of the Constitution is that the text is confusing because it was written more than 100 years ago and what people believe it.